Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, I'm at your favorite place, SuperiorRideAssailSASCar.com. But I have something really cool for you guys. Those four wheeler off road kind of guys. And if you want something that's pretty much a street beast for what it is, so it is actually the 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. But it's got a lot of extra goodies on it. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you have one, I would like to hear about it because not too much I know about this. I'm learning as they go along, so let's go through it. So here she is. It's got some aftermarket rims and tires on it. I'm sure these not, not come out of factory. It's got some extra tow hooks, things like that. Better suspension. I don't know if this is the factory suspension, so if you guys know, leave a comment down below. So yeah, it's it's black on black, so it's all blacked out extra light bar up there these extra ones right here i don't know if this is something aftermarket like i said or it you know you could order it through ford it's got the raptor hood on it but it is pretty cool the front bumper i don't think this was an option so i'm just kind of guessing all the extra stuff is aftermarket got a nice beefy front bumper tow hooks in the front extra lights and actually had the three yellow or the orange lights in the front because this truck is actually 0.3 inches wider than the Ford F-150 Raptor. So, yeah, I guess by that, they have to add that stuff. But yeah, it is pretty cool, man. But it's got the extra goodies in it. I'll go through it. Let me get myself around the other side here. I'm gonna have to open the doors because it's actually pretty dark in here. So I'm gonna have to open all of them. So this way you guys can see inside here. It's got the nice aftermarket running boards on it, which are pretty cool. And I will start from the driver's side like I always do. So yeah, it's got the running boards with the LED lights on. These are nice seats, wrapped their weight on them. Carbon fiber grab handles. Uh, kind of mildly kind of padded. It's got a USB cables up there. So maybe if you want to run a GoPro or something like that, you can. Got all these extra switches up here. And of course, you know, these panels you can't really see them but they do come off but it is actually a really really cool truck paddle shifting now motor horsepower wise 418 horsepower 440 foot pounds of torque out of a 3.0 liter with a turbo pretty impressive for a six cylinder i mean something like that is what you would expect out of an eight but yeah this is actually really really nice i mean the seats are really comfortable got all these you know the window controls and got the little front end for the forge right there the little bronco on it the bronking horse all your controls right here for your low high and everything else so yeah it's Extra space in here, like normal. Pop that out, nice and deep. Another USB port in there. The steering wheel is actually kind of on the smaller side. It's a little smaller than usual. But like in a normal like Ford F-150 or I mean, even like a car, it's it feels, it looks actually a tad smaller. But that's just how they designed it. Paddle shifting, which I'm sure is a lot of fun. But yeah, I mean, it's big infotainment system. A lot of plastic, but that's okay. All your, I mean, not a lot of crazy controls, so they have actually simplified it, which is nice. Got another handle here for the other side, so whoever's your passenger is and you decide to go crazy, they're going to be able to hold on. Heat vents right there, power windows, power locks, red, you know, and some orange trim on it. Which is a nice touch. The carbon fiber looks nice too. And then you got the back. 
same thing a little pockets got your pockets in the back here got this little grate through here which i don't really understand why but that's just the way it is these seats yep they fold down which are cool so it actually does have a good amount of cargo room so even sitting in the back getting in here oh, i gotta put the headrest back up so it's actually it's actually a pretty good size i'm six foot and i actually fit in this it's got a good amount of headroom so if you go four wheeling you're not going to wrap your head off of it another grab handle some extra things back here usb ports and good things like that and this one like a 110 no it's yeah it's got like a 110 in there probably with an inverter yeah it actually is pretty nice the seat belts they're orange you don't have to go with the orange trim front ones are too so it's got your roll bar right here but even in the back when you're So now, I couldn't really get this open, but I'm just gonna show you guys. It has a roll bar, like the Jeeps, and it's got the speakers in it, which are kind of cool. But yeah, it's got your extra 12 volts, some extra lights. It's got a rubber floor mat in the back for cargo, so you're not, and you got your tie downs, which are pretty cool. The seats look like they sit kind of high, but when they do lay down, they do lay down pretty flat, which is nice. LED tail lights, big spare, your Bronco emblem on there. These fender flares, they, I think these might be a little bit bigger than the factory ones, because I don't remember seeing this on the factory ones. The tire, they do stick out a little bit, but that was. The customer's choice of whoever bought this truck and did this to it nice rubber floor mats more grab handles factory tinted windows so yeah see what other little goodies she's hiding your dashboard Got your whole Raptor kit and everything else you need with it. More carbon fiber on the other side with the grab handles. But I'm surprised it doesn't really have a grab handle up here for something. Or getting in and out so you just hold on to that and hold on for dear life along with this one. But yeah, hold the go back in. It's nice how they tuck right up in there. They don't get pulled in this way. They actually go up into this right here. And that's all metal. So it acts like a, a rock slider. So now we're going to take a look under the hood. It's nice how they tuck in there. Yep, right up in there. Nice big beefy aftermarket front bumper. So let's get this open. So yeah, if you can see down in there. I'm gonna turn my light on my phone. You can see the turbo way down in there, the V6 for it. But it is pretty impressive that it puts out 418 horses and 440 foot pounds of torque. So yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like a big oh my god side motor. It is a three liter. You know, 3.0s are not that big. When you start getting into 4.0 4 liters and larger, they take up a lot more room.
Yeah, four performance underneath there. Kind of weird, it's got a, a ground cable for this, which is really weird. That I don't understand. And ground cable on just the hood itself. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it is nice and beefy. But there you have it. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.